the mother demonstrates JLO status as Hollywood's top action star. Since Jennifer Lopez last picked up her guns for a legitimate action movie, it's been a hot minute. No, Shotgun Wedding doesn't count because it leans toward comedy, and Hustlers doesn't either despite having more action than the previous 35 Fast and the Furious movies. Since 2013's Parker, Lopez hasn't starred in a proper action film, but even before she started outperforming Jason Statham in every scene, Lopez had already started to prefer the cozier pleasures of romantic comedies to high-octane thrills. The Mother, Lopez's first action film in 10 years, and one that is uncannily similar to her 2002 hit, Enough, rains down like manna from heaven now that the skies have opened. Lopez hasn't lost a single iota of the spark that ignited her passionately dedicated mother into a roaring, gorgeous flame in the more than 20 years since the release of Enough. Lopez finds herself in a similar situation as the mother and must use drastic measures to save both their lives and safeguard her daughter. Lopez fights like a pro this time around, mustering the guts to retaliate against her assailant. The mother stars Jennifer Lopez as a former army sniper turned merciless contract killer who, much to the dismay of her equally lethal partners, decides to forego a life of violence after learning she is pregnant. Her unborn child's security is paramount. In exchange for her child's lifetime of closely monitored protection, the mother swears away her parental rights and divulges the names of her erstwhile allies to the FBI. But as insane vengeance grows in appetite over time, mother and daughter find themselves the targets of vicious violence. This ridiculous premise is turned into a very substantial meal in the mother, primarily due to Lopez's consistently assured performance, which can make even the most absurd concepts work. However, in this instance, she works just as well with relative newcomer Lucy Pease, who plays Zoe, the mother's daughter. The mother's most complicated aspects are successfully transformed into a strong action drama by Lopez and Pease working together. Even when the mother's excessive gloominess threatens to shoot itself in the foot, their wonderful efforts are supported by a surprising degree of technical technical style that keeps the movie together. However, the odd display of outrageousness frequently works in its advantage. The mother has a broad reach, traveling to several locations to film on site through harsh Canadian winters and muggy Cuban nights. The film opens at the FBI safe house where the mother is being detained trying to negotiate a deal for her release by providing information to the authorities. The promise of that range is immediately obvious. This scenario has the definite atmosphere of a vintage espionage thriller from an early mission, impossible episode. Obviously, when the safe places, raided by vengeance-seeking attackers, the film sets itself up for a lengthy and risky voyage with plenty of no-holds-barred violence to start. Hector Alvarez, Adrian Lovell, and their partner in ruthless crime, Hector Alvarez, dispatch the thugs after the mother to clean the house. The mother was recruited by Hector and Adrian when she was the best sharpshooter in her military unit, and if she is successful in giving them up, it will put an end to their operation. The two are nevertheless committed to exacting their revenge over the course of the following 12 years, even though they may not succeed in their first mission to kill their defector.